Hey y'all, the thrift stores are calling and I must go. So that was kind of me today. And I am looking for two specific things today. I am looking for one of those things that will hold DVDs and I am looking for a baby gate. I'll tell you why in just a minute. Okay, y'all, so the two specific things that I came in this Goodwill for are not even what I get, but I do end up getting a buggy full of stuff, so much so that I had to split this video up into two videos because I just got a, a lot. So the footage ended up being way too long, so I'm splitting this video up into two parts, but I do show you all throughout both videos what I purchase at the time that I see it and how I use it and style it in my home. So throughout both videos, you get to see me shopping, show my haul and how I styled it. So all those good things. But the reason I'm needing a baby gate is because we have a 14 year old miniature dachshund and she hates her kennel all of a sudden. She just is getting, you know, older and she acts like we are just killing her if we put her in the kennel. So it's breaking my heart and I've decided to just try and find a baby gate so I can put her in our homeschool room because it has hard floors and just see if that will work. So I don't want to pay a lot of money for one in case it doesn't work. So I want to check the thrift store and see if I can find one there. And this piece right here is one of the reasons that I tell you guys to not only don't forget to look up, but try not to forget to look down. If I had not really bent down to see this piece, I probably would have missed it. So always, if you are able, try to get down to that bottom shelf and look around. Trust me, the older I get, the harder this is getting. But if you can get down and look on that bottom shelf, get down there and be sure and do a scan to make sure you check it over really good. Okay, y'all, so the first piece that I picked up was this beautiful little, I'm going to call it a riser. I don't know what it originally was. I think it probably had a mirror on it. You can see the holes up here. Um, I, that don't bother me at all because I'm going to end up covering that up. It has these three drawers, which I love. And I only paid, let me turn around and show y'all, $3.99 for this piece. Now, this piece is so heavy, y'all. It is solid wood. It's still dirty. I haven't even cleaned it. I was going to show y'all the bottom. There's the bottom. And I just knocked all the drawers out. <laughs> so it's okay. But anyway, I'm going to get this cleaned up. And I know exactly where I want to put this. And I was, I was hoping that it would fit. And it will. So I'm going to show y'all exactly where this is going and how I'm going to be using it. So this is just a little before picture for you of where it's going to go. This is what it currently looks like this is where I have these are the new glasses that I just got at Goodwill not too long ago I had to end up getting rid of my other ones because I just could not get the cloudy film off of them no matter what I tried but my thoughts for the riser that I got today I'm going to put right here I think so let me get it cleaned up and show you what it looks like here I don't even know what it's going to look like because I haven't put it here yet but my idea is that it will hold my glasses and it will also act as additional storage with those little drawers. Okay, so I got it all cleaned up. It may not look very clean, but trust me, it is, it is much cleaner than it was. I wanted to show you what I'm gonna be doing with a few of the drawers, because it may be kind of hard to film once I get it up there. So I'm always struggling with vitamins. Right now, let me show you where I have my vitamins right now. Okay, so here is where I have my vitamins that I pretty much take every single day. At. I have them in this little thrifted grease can and I just don't like the way it looks. I'm forever moving my vitamins and different things around to try to figure out a system. So we're going to try this new system. I'm going to take these vitamins and put them in these rings and then place them in this drawer. And I have three different colors because one is for me, one is for my husband, and one is for Elizabeth. And we have different colors so we all know which color is ours. So what I want to do is just place these in this little drawer. They fit perfectly in here. And I even have room to put, you know, another little pill organizer or something small in here that maybe a pill cutter or something like that will fit in here. So this is what's going to occupy this little drawer right here. And then in this drawer, what I'm going to do is I have 
stored in here. Um, also got this at a thrift store a while back. I keep that up on the very top shelf of where like this one is going to go. I keep all of these reusable like K-cup things. Now I have not used these in a long time so they've been stored in this and up on the top shelf. But y'all, the cost of everything is just crazy. So K-cups are getting ridiculous. So I just got my Asia order in and so I ordered me some ground coffee and I'm going to just fill up all of my little K-cups here and store them in here. Now why am I not putting this over at my coffee bar, you might ask. Well, because Kelsey has a little baby, my little grandson, Brigham, and he's crawling now. And he loves to go over to the coffee bar and get everything. So there are just some things that I cannot have down low, and this is one of them. Pills, medicine, my coffee. So it won't be a big deal for me. I, can, I won't even have to bend to grab these every morning. I'll be able to pull the drawer out. I'm gonna pre-make them so they're already filled up with coffee. I have, let me see. Okay, so I do have 12 of these, but I used one this morning. So I'll be able to put these in here just like this. And when I get up in the morning, all I gotta do is pull the drawer out, grab one of these, walk over to the coffee pot. Now, I do not know what's gonna go in here yet. I don't have an idea and I don't wanna put something in there just to show y'all that something's in there. <laughs> so it's gonna stay empty for now. What I'm thinking I might do is I like to save my rings to like when I do when I can stuff on the mason jars um, I like to keep the rings and so what I might do is leave this empty for those like when we empty a jar and I need I want to keep the ring just to have somewhere quick to put it where it has a place for the time being after it's clean that might be what I reserve this little drawer right here for but for now it's going to stay empty now let me show y'all this all in place Okay, y'all, do you spot it? It's on the bottom shelf, and I do end up purchasing it. We're going to head over there and pick it up here in just a minute. It is beautiful, y'all. I cannot wait for y'all to see it. Okay, y'all, the next thing that I got is beautiful. I'm so excited. I believe this is a bean pot, and it has West Bend on the bottom. It was $4.99. Let me take that sticker off and see if it has anything else under there that we need to look at. Oh, no, it just has this, whatever that is right there. But, y'all, I love this, and the reason that I got this is I think it will look beautiful for fall decor now i'm not opposed to putting stuff out like this um like right now but i want to wait and use it for the fall since that is coming up in a, about another month for me to start decorating i usually like to do it towards the end of august beginning of september but 
We'll see when I get the bug to do it. But I thought that this was beautiful. I don't know, I might style it kind of like this with some fall florals in it or something and put it on my coffee table or even just here on my bar in the kitchen. I don't know, but I was super excited to get this um, for only $4.99 and the lid fits it perfectly. Super excited. I'm just gonna get this in storage. I'm not gonna wash it yet because when I pull it out of storage, I always wash my stuff then. Um, but yeah, West Bend, don't know nothing about it. So if you do, let me know. But yeah, super excited to get this for $4.99. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look how adorable this is. I love this so much. Look at that little blue flower. Look at the crazing on this piece. Ignore the dirt. I'm about to wash that off. But y'all, this was only 99 cents. Yeah, I took the sticker off so y'all could see that this was made by Dot. <laughs> Either Dot or this is someone's initials. I'm not really sure, but y'all, I love how this looks. I just love it. I love that it even has the chip right there. This will only be used for decor, so I don't mind that it has a chip. I think someone actually used this for like a pen holder. You can see that's not mold or mildew or anything in there. That's actually like pen marks. So this must have been a pen cup for somebody. And I'm going to put this over there where I just put my cups on that new riser up in that little cubby. I had to take the other picture down that I had up there styled kind of in the before pic that I showed y'all. And so I really missed having a little picture over there. So I thought this would go perfectly up against um, some of those glasses and that greenery. So I'm gonna get this washed up and show y'all where I'm putting this. Okay, I really wanted to pick up this riser. Um, well, I don't know if it's actually a riser, but that's what I would have used it for. I think it was more so for like vegetables to put different little appetizers or something on because you can tell by looking at it, it had different sections maybe for different types of food. I wanted to get it for my bedroom because I'm loving glass and then that brass on the bottom I thought was so pretty. But because of those different sections on there, my diffuser wouldn't fit on there. And that's what I wanted to get it for, either that or like a plant. And then I spotted this little clock. I wanted to get this for my office area on my new hutch. But this clock was just too damaged. No matter what I tried to do to it, I could tell that it just would not be able to be fixed. It, it just wouldn't. Glue wouldn't even help that thing, I don't think. So I did end up leaving that behind. y'all so i did pick this up it did not have a price tag on it in the store but i want to say it was 99 cents now the reason i got this at first was to put mouthwash in in elizabeth's bathroom but i'm trying to get this off it has a very good seal 
Um, what I think I'm gonna do with this instead, and I'm gonna start looking for some more um, smaller ones like this is now is the time if you wanna make some homemade vanilla for Christmas gifts or even just for yourself, now is the time to be looking for little jars like this that will seal really good and you could make some homemade vanilla for Christmas gifts or just for yourself. Um, I'm about to order some vanilla beans and get the things that I need to make some homemade vanilla. Would y'all be interested in seeing something like that here on the thrifting channel, maybe at the end of a thrifting video or something? Let me know down below if you'd be interested in seeing how I make homemade vanilla. There's nothing like it. It is the best vanilla, but it has to sit up for several months. So anyway, just let me know down below if that's something you would be interested in. So that's why I picked this up and I am on the hunt for some more. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, can we take a minute to just admire this beautiful piece right here? It is so cute. Right here, look at the little sign hanging off of this shop. It says antiques. And then it says, my heart is in the country down about halfway. Y'all, that was just too precious of a sign there for $7.99. y'all so i am loving glass like i don't know why incorporating glass is making me so happy in my master bedroom i have a pair of lamps that i got at um goodwill um oh, i don't even know probably a year or so ago and i love how they look in there and i've been kind of on the hunt for another one to go on my dresser so they will kind of all match but i haven't been able to find what i want yet and then i found this one y'all look how beautiful this piece is it is very old and this is very, I mean, it is so heavy and it's beautiful, y'all. Look at all of the detail on it. It was only $5.99, y'all. It did not come with a shade. And so this is why I was on the hunt for a lampshade at Salvation Army. And I found that lampshade that I put in Tuesday's video. This does work. It said tested powers on. Of course, I tested it in the store. I don't trust their little stickers, but it does work. I've already had it plugged in here. I just need to wash it up and place it where I want to put it. I was going to put it on my dresser in my master bedroom, but I just don't like it there. I don't know why. So I think I'm going to put it on my desk in our homeschool room slash office area. And I'm going to show y'all what I did to that lampshade that I showed y'all in Tuesday's video. If you are new here, go back and watch Tuesday's video. You will see the lampshade that I got to go on this lamp and I think I ruined it, y'all. So anyway, let me go get this cleaned up, place it in there on the desk, and show y'all where I'm going to put it, and then tell y'all about the lampshade. Okay, y'all, so here is my desk, and here is where I want to put the lamp. Well, this is where I am going to put the lamp, but I was wanting, you see I have like these tan sheer curtains, and I got a lampshade at Salvation Army that had a very tan look to it also but i wanted it to be more white i mentioned that in the video and <laughs> y'all hold on so i only paid like a dollar fifty for this lampshade i think and so i decided that i was gonna go spray paint it with my heirloom white and y'all i don't think you're supposed to paint lampshades like that and i cleaned this thing very good before i painted it but that almost looks like dust i'm not really i'm not really sure why it looks like that. I was gonna take it outside and kind of try to brush it off. But y'all, when I turn the lamp on, it looks weird. Like it, I don't know. So I'm gonna probably have to purchase a different lampshade or I might even just take this completely off and leave like the wire exposed and just see what I think. So anyway, let me, you can see where I have painter's tape still on here where I painted it. Let me put it on the lamp and show y'all what it looks like and then Keep in mind, I only paid $1.50 for this, so this was kind of an experiment. I know someone commented and said to use some, I think they said mineral paint. I can't remember, but like there's probably a fabric paint or something that I should have used. So do not do as I do with lampshades as far as painting. But let me put it on the lamp and just show y'all what it looks like. 
Okay, so it may be hard for y'all to tell because it's in front of a window, so the lighting is a little weird. But do you see how it almost looks like it has stains or something? If I get close, like over here, it's just really weird. <laughs> and I know I probably should not have spray painted this, but hey, I'll try anything once. You know, you're in Texas when a tractor's just going down the road. <laughs> so I don't know. I do know that I like it being the lighter color. It was a lot darker beige looking. So anyway, I don't know. I might play around with this lampshade a little more. It's not going to happen in this video. So just stay tuned to, you know, my lamp chronicles. <laughs> I'll let you know in the future what I do end up deciding to do with either this shade or if I find a different one. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming along and going thrifting with me to Goodwill today. We will be back next week with part two to this shopping trip. I hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend. We love y'all and I'll see you next week with a brand new video.